Hey Junior Rangers, welcome back to the Rangers Act Show. Today we're going to be talking about something that you walk past probably every single day but don't even notice. We're going to be learning about bark, bark, bark. <clears throat> mm, excuse me, let me try that again. On this episode of the Rangers Act Show, we're going to be learning about bark, bark, bark. <clears throat> excuse me, I must have a tickle in my throat from sharing my ice cream cone with Dose last night. Let me try this one more time. Get your hiking boots and a walking stick because we're going to learn about bark. Did you ever want to know what makes a tree grow tall? A white turtle wears a shell on its back. You get your hiking boots and a walking stick. Come along with Ranger Zach. Come along with Ranger Zach. It's the Ranger Zach Show. Bark is the outer layer of wood that protects the inside of a tree. It comes in many different shapes, colors, and textures. So today is a great day to use our and look at different types of tree bark. The world is full of all sorts of different kinds of bark, so chances are you can just step right outside your door and start observing. Maybe you'll find a sycamore tree like this one. Its light color helps reflect the harsh rays of the sun. Take, for example, this tree here. Do you remember what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's my favorite tree, and we did a whole episode on it. Okie dokie, do you have your answer? That's right, it's an oak tree. If you remember, the bark of an oak tree is really strong and thick. It acts like a suit of armor that protects the tree from insects, diseases, and of course, wildfire. Let's use our observation skill hawk eyes to take a close look at this tree bark. Notice how this bark is covered in deep cracks. These cracks have a very special name called furrows and ridges. You know what causes these furrows and ridges? Can you make a hypothesis? Remember, a hypothesis is an educated guess. Do you have your hypothesis? Well, here's the answer. Some tree bark is very strong and thick, but it isn't very flexible. And trees are continually growing wider and wider and wider from the inside out. Some bark just can't keep up with the growth of the tree. So as the tree expands, the tree bark cracks. Now here's an interesting bark. This is the bark of a pine tree. As you can tell, it looks a little different from the oak tree that we saw earlier. Let's use our observation skills, hawk eyes, to notice the difference. Let's start with the color.
The oak tree bark had a nice gray color to it. This pine tree is more of an orangish brown. How about the texture? It's definitely not smooth. Pine tree bark is special because it grows in scales and plates. Think of scales like the scales of a snake and plates like the plates of a suit of armor. As the pine tree grows, layers and layers and layers of bark grow on top of one another. Now let's use our observation skill raccoon hands to feel the texture on this bark. Notice as I touch it, the plates and the scales peel away, just like a snake growing sheds its skin. As this tree grows, the outer layer of bark peels away. This also keeps the tree bark nice and clean from moss and lichen that like to grow on it. Are you ready for your Ranger's Act fun fact? Yeah! Well, here it is. Cinnamon can be a tasty treat, especially when you put it on French toast, churros, or a donut like this. But these treats just wouldn't be the same without tree bark. That's because cinnamon comes from the bark of a cinnamon tree. I think I'll have some tree bark right now. That's <laughs> really good. Last observation skill that I want to use today is our bare nose. Some tree bark has a very distinct smell, so don't be afraid to give one a quick whiff when first meeting it. Many times, these unique smells help repel insects and animals that may want to eat the tree and damage it. Pine trees are always worth giving a quick sniff. You may even come across a ponderosa pine, which smells like vanilla or butterscotch. Don't believe me? Guess you'll have to find one yourself. Bark offers great protection. Look how a woodpecker has been storing its acorns inside this tree. Luckily, the bark is preventing the woodpecker from drilling too deep into the tender wood inside. Over the years, bark has been used for all sorts of different purposes. With the right know-how, you could make rope, basket, spices, even a canoe. And that's the cool thing about nature. You may walk past trees every day and just not realize how cool bark can be. Let's go back to the ranger station and keep the good times rolling. Hi Junior Rangers, welcome back to the Ranger Station. Did you have fun learning about bark today? Good, me too. 
I brought some bark back to the ranger station with me because it's always good to have some fun and natural materials for your crafts. With bark, you can make all sorts of cool things like, hmm, a fort. That's pretty cool. You could glue them all together and make a really cool natural collage. Or a big piece like this would be great to make a canoe or a boat and float down a creek. Using this piece, I also made a spooky mask. Boo! Ah, uh, it's okay, Pearl. It's just me, Ranger Zach. The possibilities are endless, so just use your imagination and see what you can come up with. Now let's do the Ranger Roundup. This week's question comes from Riley, who wants to know a little bit more about some friends that she found in her backyard. Hi Ranger Zach, what do roly polies eat? Really good question, Riley, but first a joke. What do you call it when a roly poly is out for a nice lazy walk? A roly strolly. <laughs> well, anyways, roly polies like to eat dead and decaying plant material. This can be leaves, twigs, even tree bark, or an old log. Think back to our worm episode. Do you remember what this is called? Are you thinking organic matter? Because if you are, you're right. What other insects can you think of that might eat organic matter as well? Make a hypothesis and use your observation skills to try and confirm it. Thanks for your question and keep your curiosity alive. Now let's do the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to get outside and observe three different types of trees. Use your observation skills and make note how their barks are similar or different. Make sure to tag me in a picture of your special adventure at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram for a chance to be featured as one of our Junior Rangers of the Week. New episodes of the Ranger Zach Show come out every Monday, so like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our cool lessons. Until next time, Junior Rangers, there's a world of adventure right outside your door so get out there and go explore. This is Ranger Zach and Pearl, over and out.